considering who they beat in this yeah. year. Is this your most impressive win this year? You would I, think? I, I think so. Yeah. I mean, you know, with their RPIs, you know, Josh is writing about it every two seconds, so we're up to date with that. Um, but you know, it's uh, they're <laughs> listen. If, if and I, I say this respectfully, if they were in a, a you know, people sometimes get so stuck on the mid-major label. That's a, that's a top 50 team, top 30 team there on a given night. They're the real deal. You know, they defend, they share the basketball, they rebound, they shoot. I, I don't know, when, we, when we're watching them on film, I'm saying they don't have a weakness. They shoot it from four spots, they rebound the basketball, they're unsell. I don't know what their weakness is. And they had some good looks tonight, they just missed. But, you know, did we run them, did we speed them up a little? Maybe, but they're, they're really good. They're really, really good. Do you think that, uh you want to call it a little skirmished, a little heat again, kind of ignited? <clears throat> no, I, you know what I think that is? I think that's two teams who want it. Who, they, they, after the game, these guys were all talking. You know, yeah, it, it, I mean it's two. Yeah, I think it ignited both teams. You know, Justin Robinson came out, he scored, we had a big play. When you have kids who, who are going to com be competitive like that and you have two coaches who I think are fiery guys, <laughs> um, you know, I think their kid, your kid's going to reflect that. They're, they're not going to back down. We're not going to back down. I think it's just part of the basketball game. I didn't think it was anything, uh, you know, Disrespect. They didn't score again after. Steve Bowden. The first we answered the bell. <laughs> first half defense on Robinson, similar to AJ English in that yeah. championship. How much how critical to the game plan was it to take him away early and make sure that there were other guys set the tone? Kids get the credit. You know, Rashawn and Tyler Cap. Um, we did some things differently though. We put Calvin at the top of the zone and Rich Williams to, to use some length to make them just pull from a little deeper. And we were hoping that could have an effect. But um, you know, I thought our kids just competed. You know, we, we they, they're the ones who carried out the game plan. My job is easy. I watch film, I, I, I tell them what to do, and they carry it out. They're the ones who have to do all the hard work. So uh, Ray and Tyler and Cap really deserve a lot of credit for that. Thomas, have you, have you hit a bigger shot than your last three there? Right? Uh, probably no. No, I haven't. <laughs> Can you take it through that play? Were you hoping to get a shot? Did you think it was going to come to you? I mean, I knew they were going to jump the ball, so they were going to leave me at some point. And Ray just did a great job. He, he dribbled the ball for like the whole possession around everybody, and he just found me late, and I was just able to knock it down. Tom, right after that, you come up with a huge steal. Uh, what's running through your head when you come up with that, that play? What do you call that the biggest sequence of your life? I mean, I, it was a big sequence. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a big sequence, then. It's the biggest of his life. Wow. <laughs> but I mean, I think it was, it was Tyler who's dogging the ball, and I'm just thinking, stop Justin Robinson. And uh, Tyler spun him, and he lost the ball, and I just dove on him. I mean, all the credit goes to Tyler on that one. Tom, what's this year been like for you stepping into this team and playing major minutes for a team that's had success the last couple of years? I mean, it's definitely a big step forward. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to do anything I can to help the team, whatever it is, the defense, just pretty much hit open shots. And I'm glad that I got this opportunity. Steve, you talked to even all about the things uh, that Justin said preseason about wanting to come into Dragon and wanting to win here. Yes. But if Justin Robinson didn't say those things, I'd be disappointed. We were saying those things three years ago. That's what he should be saying. Uh, I, I have no issue with him wanting to. You know, I think as a, we sometimes punish people for saying what they really want. He wants to win a MAC championship. He wants to win a Dratty. I have no issue with that. If he if he didn't say those things, I think you know it's like a player who's not playing. Well, if he doesn't come to me and say, Coach, why aren't I playing? I have, I have an issue with that. So. I, Justin's a class act. Justin's a great kid. Um, yeah. You know, he, he plays with a lot of passion. He does things the right way. He's a hard worker. I, yeah, yeah, we spoke about it. We definitely spoke about it. We spoke about it a lot. You know, we, we, we hung it up everywhere. You know, I'll be honest about it. I mean, the, these guys probably were, didn't want to hear another thing about Justin Robinson after this week. Um, but that's what good college teams do. You know, it's, it's kind of that back and forth stuff. And given the fight that they gave you tonight, you're going back down there. It's like the 17 game. I, I spoke to Tom. We're not going back. You're not going. No, back. we're ending it here. Uh, that's it. We're not going back to this. It. It's done. Okay. One, only we're playing them once this year. That's it. But, uh, that's what you said, right, boss? We're good with that. <laughs> <laughs> would you accept? Would you expect the same type of fight, given that that second game is going to be deep in the regular season, seedings on the line, maybe a regular season championship with someone? You know, would you expect you know the same type of fight I, next time? I think any time Monmouth takes the court under King Rice, they're going to be as competitive as a basketball team as you will find. So yes, to answer your question, yes, it's going to be that much. Listen, it's 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 going to even be that much better now. You know, now it's a, you know, it's going to add that much more to the game, make it that much more meaningful. Steve, you brought up with Justin Robinson after the handshake. Can you share what you said to him? I, I just told him how, how big of a fan I am of his and what he's accomplished this year. Just take it in stride. Keep working hard. Keep you one of the best players in this league. 
I'm really proud of you. I'm a fan of you when I'm not going against you, and I am. You know, I, I think he's a, he's a darn good player. I mean, he really is. Literally, and I'm not kidding. My girlfriend for three months, all she's been saying is, how are you going to stop Justin Robinson? How are you going to stop Justin Robinson? And I'm like, well, are you a mom fan? You know, so I'm, I'm a big fan of this. I'm a big fan of this. Calvin, last, last year, having been through a similar slow start before coming back and getting near the top of the league and then going through it again, is there anything different this season other than maybe you in a, in a larger role and some of the other guys stepping up? Um, I mean, Coach always says the process. The process is all the same. We talk about March and you know, January is a long stretch, but we go day by day, practice by practice, and so it all feels the same to me, just maybe some more expectations.